Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got a full offensive breakdown for you guys today. I'm in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers playbook one more time, and I'm going to bring you guys a full breakdown of the single back wing pair. A couple of weeks ago, I put out a, uh, a series of just run plays from this formation. I asked you guys in that video if you want to see a full breakdown, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section, and I'll give you the full thing with passing plays and run plays. If you already saw the run plays, I will timestamp this video. You guys can just skip ahead to the, uh, the past plays that you didn't already see i will go over the run plays again but if you already saw that video i will timestamp this video so you guys can jump ahead to the parts that you didn't catch already like the passing plays uh just you know click the, the screen to do that other than that if you guys want to see more videos like this do me a favor hit the like button and let me know in the comment section i'll try to put out more full length videos and other than that let's go let's get right into the video so now let's start off with the running plays couple of really good run plays. The 0-1 trap right there off the top, that's not necessarily the best one. To me, the best one's probably between the halfback inside zone, which I'm definitely going to put on. Uh, we have a lot of the plays already in here. That's one of the things. Like the counter weeks, definitely a play that should be in the top four, top five, uh, which is one of the things that makes this, this formation so good. There's so many run plays. Uh, the dive alert smoke and the stretch alert lookie are both already in it. And then the fifth play would probably be between the 24 zone open and the 0-1 trap. But I'm going to say the 0-1 trap would probably my favorite so that's going to be the five run plays that go over today uh and then obviously if i have time i'll probably put a pass play towards the end there's definitely some good ones like the pa scene specifically uh, but i'll save a lot of pass plays for my patreon and stuff like that for my join out community tab so the fifth play is going to be the 01 trap now before i get into this video as always if you guys want to get your mud team up like mine make sure to check out my coin sponsors at mmoxp.com link in the description below and use discount code money shot to get five percent off your order as well as supporting this channel every time you buy from them with that discount code you help me out big time so i really appreciate that you guys are showing me a lot of support other than that we're gonna get into the reads here now this first play that's one of the reasons that i love this defensive formation it's a complete glitch when it comes to what it does to the defense you can see based off the fact that there's three tight ends and there's such an off alignment on the formation a lot of times it forcefully forces the defenses um to auto shift which is something that uh, i can I, if i show you right now i mean i can make that auto shift go away simply by evening out the formation and then this is typically the formation you're going to see not a ton of people are really going to know how to uh, get that shift back the way they want depending on the level of you know you can base align and stuff like that to fix it but most people either don't know how to do that or, or a lot of people don't know how to do that or they won't have time so you really have the ability to control your defensive the, your opponent's defensive formation which is obviously going to be key that's one of the reasons i think that the halfback inside zone is one of the best ones this is essentially like a short stretch to the left side at least that's how i'm going to treat it as you can see right here i'm going to go ahead i'm going to flip to that and i'm typically going to try to take it outside that linebacker actually did a pretty good job of cutting that off but that's typically going to be the plan so even though it didn't work out that's typically the plan you have that ability a lot um, on this next play here i mean there's a couple different ways i could go i could go with the counter play if i'm gonna go with the counter play i want to flip it with the right stick and aim for that gap that's typically going to be um, as you can see right there we just create a hellacious hole on the very next play anytime you have a hole across the formation Especially when it's like, uh, I mean, here, maybe not because you have three cornerbacks backing it up. I could easily go with this uh, halfback stretch and just try to take it outside. Although I think I hit the wrong button. But um, anytime you have a, uh, a hole like that, you really can just flip this and try to aim for it. And like right here, I think this is a big enough hole on the left side. I could get away from those cornerbacks. I could also try to run it. But ultimately, once again, the halfback inside zone is going to make the most sense. So let's go and let's do that. Like I said, this here, you get a double team right at the point of attack there a lot. And then you can see we have some very explosive runs. So that's the thing about this formation, like I said, you have an amazing blocking advantage on one side, but it also pulls the formation off alignment a lot of times and people don't have the ability to set up their run defense, to set up their gap controls the way that they would like to. So here's another play. I mean, I go with the 0-1 trap based on the fact that it's spread enough. I mean, this is a good enough spread that I could, I could try to make that happen. It looks like we have a man blitz or something like that since he followed, but ultimately, like I said, anytime you have spread formations, I mean, look how big that hole is. You could drive a truck through that hole. I mean, that's just insanely easy. Like I said, the only thing I don't 
like about that is it does take a little bit of time for you for that motion to happen and a lot of times your opponent will pick up on that and they will try to uh, try to shoot a gap or something like that that's about the only thing i could say that it gives that oh one trap issues uh, but there are past plays that play off of that like i said i'll have uh, in my patreon and on my join out community tab so it's not you know it's not a given guarantee that it's going to be a run play so here's another opportunity going for that counter like i said you have that gap like i said they're was well, a little bit tight, but you can see I got through it. I didn't quite get the hellacious hole I was expecting. So this play here, I could go with any number of plays here. The halfback inside zone or the 0-1 trap. The 0-1 trap to me uh, is probably going to be the more explosive of the two. And it goes right over the, the gap where the alignment is, is off and missing. Uh, but like I said, it's really hard to say. I might have been able to get more with the halfback inside. Those are probably the two best plays. This 0-1 trap, by the way, is not in a lot of playbooks. I think it's only in a couple playbooks, uh, which is one of the reasons it's, it's you know, the Tampa Bay playbook is so good when it comes to offensive plays. Here's another opportunity, counter weak. All I got to do is switch to that, flip it, you know what I'm saying? Hit the right stick to the right. And, I, you know, you can't flip the formation necessarily, uh, but you can see there's a lot of space outside here. As we get an easy 10-yard run, I actually kind of ran that poor, or I probably would have got more. So you can see those three plays especially are very explosive. Here's another opportunity to try to hit that halfback inside zone to the outside, which is like I said, that's what I was trying to do on the original play. As you can see, he seals that edge, and a lot of times you're just peeling this off to the left. And I actually, you know, if it wasn't for that tiptoe animation i might have been gone now here's a good opportunity based off the fact that we have a packed box i mean this is very simple the halfback inside zone is not going to work the dive is not going to work the the counter is not going to work There's, you need spacing for that you need spacing for the owen trap so this is something we are definitely going to want to go with the stretch alert looking try to take it outside the stretch alert look is going to be best against these packed boxes or against uh, cover three cover four zone the stretch is going to be best I use this play a lot in goal line. When people like to man up in goal line, a lot of times um, the X route's a perfect play against uh, any man defense. But ultimately, you know, this is a play I'm just going to want to take outside. You can see we have, you know, there's nothing. As long as you make the right reads, all these plays will have success. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna show one passing play. There's a lot of good passing plays in this. For, in this particular formation but i'm going to show one that works against just about all of them and that's the pa seam so let's go and let's pick that now if you're going to run this particular play uh like this where you motion this guy in like i said you don't have to do that but if you're going to you probably want to make sure um, that you uh, motion this guy in from time to time during the run plays because that will make it a little less obvious uh, but you can see I mean, the way that this pulls apart the coverage is just it's an insane amount of separation it's an easy throw now I wish I would have put Howard at uh, based off the fact that he's much faster at uh, Gronkowski's spot he'll be he'll get open much more but ultimately you know this is this is pretty much the look I mean you got that check down B route there that's obviously a good uh, you know a, a good option uh, against man or zone and then you're really when it comes to the zone coverages you're really just kind of kind of reading um you know you can change this around too i might mean, put the b route on the streak it doesn't really matter but you can ultimately you know run it like this you have that comeback route uh which is obviously you know a good route i mean there's just so many plays here to be made across whether it's the comeback route or the dragging receiver or whatever um, there's a lot of really good plays to be made but like i said i, I like to have this guy on a streak motion him in um, i find i have enough faith uh, in those tight ends that uh, they will make the, the plays necessary. Now, without a doubt, one of the best passing plays in this formation is going to be, uh, where are we at here? The PA counter shot. This is a very good play against multiple coverages. We're going to pick that. More specifically, it's going to be a very good cover four play. So let's go and let's go to, I've uh, got to find a cover four in this play, but I'm not even entirely sure where they have it. Right there, cover four drop, not cover four pump. It's more of a cover four drop play. Although, honestly, you can have uh, you know success against both. But we'll pick cover four drop first. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to put the B route here on a uh, pass block. That's all I have to do. Uh, and then this is going to be a one-play touchdown against cover four. Uh, just as long as I, you know, to buy some time, you can see here this guy's basically, he's not even the fastest receiver in the game or nothing like that. And you can see he gets past the coverage. So let's go and let's go to the replay because there are some, uh, you know, things to watch for to make this successful. But ultimately, all you're doing is waiting for this guy to get inside this free safety. Uh, and once he's inside, you bullet and pass it away. More inside, the better. I'd probably say, I'd probably wait till he gets a step or two. But ultimately, uh, you can see I'm already loading up. And it's all about the bullet pass lead away from the free safety. These safeties here, they split the field in half. Cover four is pretty much split the field in half when it comes to coverage. And based off the fact that there's nothing really over here pulling them, they kind of just lag in the space. Uh, this guy here is the only guy that really has any opportunity of making a play. Uh, but he doesn't have a very good one. So that's pretty much it. And then you can see, boom, we'll get a very easy one-play touchdown. So that's pretty much it. You could also 
also smart route the uh, the X route just to get him across the field a little bit quicker, but I don't find that necessarily helps. Um, you know, you can run it just as is, just block that B route. You don't want anything. Helps you to get the outside a little bit too. You can see you get that double block over here, uh, and then boom, we're just getting a very easy play. So, you know, that's it. There's nothing really to this play when it comes to uh, to cover four. Now, this play is also a very good cover three one play touchdown. All you have to do is motion this guy in and put him on a fade. Uh, and you have to run from the sideline too. That's going to make this most successful. But that's it. Just fading this guy, motioning him in, and it's going to be a very easy one play touchdown against cover four. Now, you can see right there, um, you know, I have to go to the replay to show that. But the cornerback really bites on these crossers. It's a perfect depth. Based off of the new uh, rules that apply to cover three, essentially these outside cornerbacks a lot of times will take on crossers and uh, you know try to pass these streaks onto the free safeties, which is a bad, he's really out of position. And there's a lot of that's based off the fact that I'm running it from the sideline. But ultimately, you can see that cornerback just basically bails. Even though nobody's really immediately threatening him, he will bail, and that will just essentially just give you an hellacious lane to throw as long as you bullet pass it outside. But ultimately, you're just watching that cornerback. The second that cornerback splits out like that, it's pretty much game over. Like I said, I like the weight to, to go out a little bit further. You can see he was a little bit indecisive. He actually kind of, you know, does like a little, you know, maybe I should go back. And then once he finally totally breaks off, I'm pulling and pass leaning away from the, you know, from the free safety. So that's all you really have to do. A lot of times if you put this guy on a streak, it'll mess it up. So make sure you're putting him on a fade. That is more, that is important. So here we go one more time. Like I said, this guy here, like I said, just double, just like it does a double take and then it's a really easy play. But this is a very timing based heavy play. If you throw it too early, you throw it too late, you could mess this whole thing up. So you really have to watch that cornerback. If I, like I said, I'll throw it earlier just to show you what happens. I'll throw it on that first, you know, that first pump move. You can see he gets right back to it. I mean, I still made a play because Mike Evans is lit up. Uh, he's, he's a lot taller, but you got you to gotta make sure that he really bites on that crosser. He really takes the bait and rolls away. Don't throw it um, too early based off of that. So right here, boom, he's way gone. You know what I mean? He just, he just runs straight to the sideline, and it's an easy one-play touchdown. So a very good play. This play is also very good against, um, you know, with that same setup, man or zone, really. I can run this play against just about anything, the PA counter shot. So we'll go and pick that, and I'm going to go random nickel again. If it's a cover two, or sorry, if it's a uh, cover two zone, I mean, this almost looks like it is. I didn't even pick that. I should probably move the ball back to the center of the field. But ultimately, this guy, I'm going to motion this receiver in nine times out of ten. And it's going to have a lot of the same principles as the PA crosser play. So right here, this is another really good look. Um, you know, where this, this guy here, he's just going to get inside release it against a lot of different defenses if you motion that guy in. That's a perfect route for that. But this guy, based off of this motion, will get a lot of inside releases against things like man cover two, which a lot of people struggle with. If you shorten the route by smart routing it, a lot of times, I'm not saying this is a man cover two, by the way, but if, you know, you'll get that inside release against just about any man or zone. Now, when it comes to like man cover one, that's not something that you'll get an inside release on, but a man cover two, uh, any zone coverages, you can, you know, shorten that route, smart route it, and this guy here will have a pretty instant release. Now there, uh, the linebacker got in the way, but for the most part, um, you know, this is something you can do, especially man cover two. That's really the, the real play. Uh, this look here looks like a cover three or cover one. Man, I could easily just, you know, once again, we got these these crossers are very uh, successful. So this play can really have a lot of success against pretty much any defense. But you can see it's also a cover, you know, cover uh, three, one play touchdown, a cover four, one play touchdown. Here's looks like might be a cover two. Like I said, this guy here, he's going to be there. He's going to be inside. When you motion that guy inside, he's going to be there. Your user's probably going to have to try to take that away to have any success. Uh, and then you can see we're having a lot of success here. So I'll go ahead and I'll, you know, like right here, I mean, I can streak him like I've done in previous plays. And these crossers are very successful. Like I said, we've got a really good man beater underneath here, uh, which, you know, he's been very successful against his assignment. He's running against a safety every time. But the smart route at about 10 yards definitely is helpful as I already messed the play up. Um, but the smart route definitely helps as far as, you know, he doesn't get open on the streak. He doesn't get open when he's running straight. He gets open on the break. So shorting that break can be very successful for his route, but it also doesn't really help the other two routes. So you really have to be decisive because the the the, his, the length of his route before smart routing it will help to get these other two guys open. So I'd say it's really cover specific. Now there's a very good uh, cover two and cover three zone play. Uh, the PA sprint hat back flat. I'm going to actually flip this though. I want to make sure that OJ Howard um, is in the uh, the home run spot because I want some speed. I haven't had that all all video. We're going to do that now though. The PA sprint hat back flat. So we're going to pick that very good zone coverage play, especially cover two, cover three. We'll start off with cover two. 
This play here, all I really have to do is put the RB route on a streak, and then I can put the B route here on a flat. Uh, block my running back. I don't really want him doing that. But this is a good play against cover two and cover three. Uh, although, like I said, a lot of times the flat is really going to be the look. So, you know, this really you're just really reading um, the, uh, the corner route and the... Um, uh, I'm not even sure. That's, that's kind of an augmented corner route and the flat. So right here, I mean, against cover two, you can see he's kind of dropping back into it. I forgot to uh, to change my running back, but you can see leaving the running back on that flat route will give you an opportunity for a blocker, uh, which is something that you could do. So let's go. Let's do that one more time. Like I said, I'll use that. I'll, I'll use this guy and hope that that uh, that blocker can give me a little bit extra yards. So that's something that's kind of like me creating a one man screen. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.